All right, so I have this piece painted on all sides now. Now I'm going to come back in. Hold on, let me flip it because it's flipped over in here. I'm going to use the Victorian Damask stencil. Super pretty, very feminine Damask print that I love and use very frequently. As you can tell, it's got a lot of paint on it. Um, you can reuse these. You wanna go wash them really well after you use them. Best to just do it outside with a water hose. However, during the winter, when it's cold and wet sometimes, I don't always get them washed. So this one has white paint all over it. But here's the thing, as long as it's still clean in the design, you can still keep reusing it. So these are really good to have on hand because um, you can just use them over and over. So I'm gonna put this on the side um, like so, and I'll tell you how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use one of Dixie Bell's new products. It's called Stick With Me. It's very, very, very sticky. So if you're using it, make sure you wear gloves. Um, I was gonna paint it on with a paintbrush, but I tried this the other day and it's very sticky. And so if you're gonna use a brush, use a small artist brush and be prepared to toss it because you're not gonna get it clean from anything I can tell. I usually use baby wipes to clean my hands if I get like furniture stain on them. Like I always brag and say, gosh, baby wipes will remove anything. Even the baby wipes wouldn't touch it. It's very, very adhesive. So I'm gonna use a sponge to apply it and then I'm gonna just toss this. And then the fun part is, so Dixie Belle has this new product called Dixie Shine. So these two things go hand in hand. Dixie Shine, stick with me. This is basically a roll of foil. So it's like gold leaf, but it comes in a roll. And it looks like so. And look how much is on it, guys. It's like a ton. I don't know if it says how much, but it's a lot. So you can use this, I feel like, forever. So you basically apply the stick with me and then you lay the foil down over top of it, this side down, you want the gold to show, and then you burnish it on or rub it on and your gold will be left behind on whatever design you used it on. So you can apply it on um, edges or ridges like this, on details on your piece, or you can use a stencil, apply the stick with me through the stencil and then put the gold leaf over top and it creates a beautiful gold, um, basically like a gold leaf design. It's gorgeous. So we're gonna get started on that. All right, so I think I've got this centered and I'm just gonna do this portion right here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to use one hand to remove my lid here. So I'm just gonna pick up some of the glue to stick with me here on my sponge. And then I'm just gonna dab it over top of my stencil. Dab gently, trying not to press too hard as this can make your glue leak up under your stencil. All right, now we're gonna move this. So I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then we'll come back and do our um, gold. The next thing I decided to do was use the remainder of my decoupage paper to decoupage the drawer here. As you can see, it is pretty wood, but we've got extra paper, so we might as well use it. And I apologize, I had my camera flat um, on my tripod, and so it recorded it in the wrong um, direction. So there's bars on the side, sorry about that. But we're going to be applying this in the same manner. We're gonna be using our Dixie Belle clear coat as our decoupage medium to apply the paper into the drawer. Dixie Bell's clear coat is super easy to wash off of your brushes, so it's okay if you use a good brush for this. So I'm using a flat brush and um, I am applying it right on the bottom of this drawer. I did about half at a time. And then I'm using my squeegee here. You can pick these up from Amazon or a hobby store. And I'm using the squeegee just to press down on it to get it nice and smooth and get out any wrinkles that could be left in the paper. I also decided to do the sides of the drawers on the outside and on the inside. So this whole drawer, with the exception of the bottom, is gonna be covered in this beautiful new paper from Dixie Belle. 
adding this paper to the drawer is just like stenciling the sides of the drawers to me. I feel like if you do that little bit of added extra step on your pieces, that it kind of sets you apart from the crowd so your pieces don't look like everyone else's. Number one, your finish can make you stand out from a crowd, but also just these little small details can really stand out and make a difference. Okay, we are going to do our Pixie Shine foil. It's in a roll, like so. I'm just gonna cut it off. I put a little more back here. And I'm just gonna run it down the length of this. I'm just gonna use a paper towel to rub it. So the stick with me portion of this product takes about 15 minutes to dry and then it's going to be nice and tacky. Then you simply lay the foil over top of the sticky part and then just burnish it in or rub it in. You can use your hand a squeegee or a paper towel and then simply peel the foil back. As you see here, you can reuse it. So if you still have a lot of gold on your sheet, you can just simply place it over another part that is sticky and peel it back there. So here is a look at what it's looking like so far. I still have to seal it with wax and do the hardware, but it's super cute. 